Hi guys, today I want to carve a bushcraft spoon. Stay with me. Today I made a huge mistake. I forgot my water and I didn't bring a container with me. So I just came across this fallen linden tree here. So there's a lot of water uh, underneath the roots here and I'm so thirsty I have to drink it. Okay, the water looks clear. There's just a little bit of debris swimming on the surface, but that's no problem. Mm -hmm. Tastes really good. I gotta drink as much as I can, but it's really cold. Oh, oh. oh my god, my mouth. Oh. But it's better than eating snow. Oh. Dax has just contaminated the water source, so I'm moving on. And here, there's a lot of uh, linden wood, which I can use for my bushcraft spoon. And linden is the best wood when it comes to carving, because it's very soft. I want to cut off this branch up here, but I can't reach it, so I have to clamp on the tree. Okay, I got the piece of food that I wanted. So I'm poking some small holes into the surface of the wood here because then the amber has a little better grip to burn into the wood. Okay, while the fire is burning I'm sharpening my knife a little bit uh, because the wood, the linden wood is normally soft but the, the wood of the branches is a little bit harder so you need a really sharp knife for this and I'm sharpening my knife with the DC4 sharpening stone by Feldknieven.
So burning a hole into the wood takes some time, but uh, it's the only option if you don't have a crooked knife with you. I burned in a hole now, which is about uh, two centimeters deep and I think it's going to be enough. So now I want to start with the carving. This linden wood here is the best wood for carving because it's very soft and it doesn't break on you. And that's what's very important when it comes to spoon making. Okay, I just finished my bushcraft spoon here. I think it's quite a beauty. And it didn't break on me, which usually happens. But you know, when it comes to spoon making, uh, you don't have to rush it, so you just need to take your time and be cautious and then you got a really nice spoon like this one here. Linden wood is the best wood for carving, I have to say, so I'm very fond of linden now. Now I'm taking the spoon and put it inside my rucksack. So now I always have a wooden spoon if I need one. So I'm on my way home and I just discovered this place here and apparently a roe deer uh, has slept underneath this tree and as you can see the tree offers uh, some kind of natural shelter and the deer uh, put away the snow and the debris and it slept here. So there's a lot you can learn from wild animals. It's very interesting how smart they are. It's snowing pretty much and I'm on my way home because this is going to be a blizzard today. And I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and stay tuned till next time.